What's up everyone, welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna do something a little bit different. I'm going to play some trombone memes or short little trombone melodies and you have to name that tune. See if you can name the melody. I'm gonna put the answers down in the description so you can check them out after I'm done playing. Don't cheat and see how many you got right. And then I wanna know how many you got right. I'm gonna do 30, so let me know your score out of 30. I'm gonna be super impressed if someone gets all 30 of these. To spice it up, to make it a little more interesting, the other thing I'm gonna be doing today is playing these little trombone memes in these two different mutes. I have the Yamaha Silent Brass mute here, as well as the Okuda mute. So if you're interested about these mutes and how they sound, um, I'll be talking about these mutes and doing a little review at the end of the video. So make sure you watch the whole thing. All right, here we go. <laughs> got right. So the first mute I'm going to talk about is the Yamaha Silent Brass Mute. 
This is by far my favorite practice mute. I've been playing on the Yamaha Silent Brass Mute since I think 2008. Uh, with the first generation one, it was a lot bigger. I have one of those as well, but I just don't have it with me right now. And then they came out with a second generation Silent Brass Mute and it's awesome because it fits inside the bell as you saw in the video. It even has like, I don't know if you see the edges, it's kind of cool because you can even put your fingers in it and it helps it like kind of screw in and out of the bell. So that's really cool. Also, I have my little cat sticker there, if you could see it. <laughs> so yeah, I love these Yamaha Silent Brass Mutes. They are awesome. As with any practice mute, you will notice like down in the lower register and in the upper register, it feels a little bit different. So you might not be able to play as low as you can or as high as you can without a mute in. There's just a little more resistance and it's just a little harder, but I don't mind playing in the mutes. I'm very used to it, you know, from being on tour or being in hotels or apartments or warming up, you know, down in the pit or backstage. They are a great tool to have. I highly recommend a practice mute. One more thing, the Yamaha Silent Brass also comes with a pickup system. So what this does, if you see there's a hole here, this plugs in and then you also have like a headphone jack here um, so you can listen. It just helps you hear a little better when you're using the mute. Um, you can also plug it into your computer and do effects and stuff there. To be honest, I really don't ever use the pickup system. I mainly just use the practice mute. But that's definitely something to consider if you're wanting a mute that can do some more things. So one of the downsides about the Silent Brass is it's certainly one of the more expensive, if not the most expensive practice mute out there. Uh, if you know of a more expensive one, let us know down in the comments. So for just the mute alone, without the pickup system, on Amazon right now, it's going for $156.79. So that is a little bit more pricey. If you want the pickup system included, it's going on Amazon right now for $229.99. So like I said, a little more expensive, but if you wanna check them out, I have the Amazon links down in my description for that. The other mute that you saw me playing today was the Okuda mute from Japan. I mean, the Yamaha one is too, but yeah, this is Japanese as well. I got this mute this year, and to be honest, it's the one I've been using the most lately. I got it for traveling and that is probably the best thing about it. It is so light. I mean, you can just see compared to the Yamaha Silent Brass, it's way smaller. It also fits inside the bell, uh, like you saw in the video. So the cool thing about when the mutes fit inside the bell is you can put them inside of your case. Great for travel. It's super light. It's made out of plastic. It, it is just the lightest thing. You barely feel it when it's in the bell, which is awesome because I hate um, adding weight onto the horn if I don't have to. The other cool thing about it is it screws apart so you can clean it out, keep it nice and clean and dry. So that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I just really love this Mew. I feel like it's pretty comparable to the Yamaha Silent Brass as far as the way it feels. Um, I did notice watching my video back there, it does sound a little different though. I think it is a little bit louder than the Yamaha Silent Brass. So if you are interested in a practice mute that's gonna be the quietest, or more quiet, I would certainly go with the Yamaha, but this is a great comparable product. And probably the best thing about the Okuda Mute is it's way cheaper than the Yamaha Silent Brass. So if you don't have $229 to spend, this is a great option for you. The Okuda Mute is not on Amazon yet, but you can go over to the Okuda website and the pricing for this now is $66.50. So way cheaper. It's a great option if you're looking for something a little bit more affordable. So yeah, I definitely recommend both of these mutes. I use them both a lot and I like them. So if you're looking for a practice mute, I would suggest one of these. Hopefully you got a better idea of how they sounded throughout this video. Let me know what you think down in the comments, what kind of practice mute you're playing on. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks again for watching the video, everyone. If you haven't yet, please subscribe to my channel. I have a new video coming every week. Also, if you'd like to support me and support the future of this YouTube channel, you can join us over on Patreon and be a part of our community over there. We have audio downloads, sheet music, all that great stuff. Also, if you're interested in taking lessons, I am now teaching lessons on Zoom. So if you wanna improve your trombone skills, even if you play another brass instrument, that's fine. We can work on anything you want. I'll design lessons especially for you. I'll leave my lessons website down in the description as well. And that's it, I'll see you all next week, bye.